Hey Tube Cainer, welcome back to another video. So, after my previous video on how to make a thumbnail, go check that out if you um, if you want to, I guess. Um, I decided to uh, go further. So, other than making thumbnails, I was like, hmm, what else do I do that's free that makes my YouTube career easy? I record, duh. Um, and when I record, I use OBS. If you guys don't know what OBS is, it's pretty cool, actually. It's actually really helpful for me, and it's free. Um, all you really need is, like, a computer that can handle it, and if you're doing YouTube, you need a pretty expensive computer anyway, uh, because a lot of the games that you're going to be playing are, you know, good quality or whatever. So, basically, I, I, I use OBS. Um... To get my little webcam, I have a Logitech HD 1080p webcam. I don't know what it's actually called. I think it's like a 920. Um, this behind me is a black blanket. You, you really don't have to do uh, very much to make things look nice. Um, the little border around me, um, I actually made using Pixlr, the same thing I showed you guys in the last video uh, about making thumbnails. And I actually just remade it recently, so it looks really nice. Um, so yeah, uh, most of the things on uh, OBS are like really easy to understand. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So this would be a pretty short video if I didn't also talk about what I used to edit. So everybody kind of uses an editor on the computer. I don't. I use an editor on my phone called PowerDirector Mobile, um, and to get stuff from my computer to my phone, I do one of two things. I plug in my phone to my computer and uh, go onto my phone to file transfer. Um, if that doesn't work for you guys, you can upload any videos you have to your Google Drive, and then from your phone, you can get the Google Drive app and download them from there. And then you just put them in the power director and I'll show you guys that right now so one little thing I forgot to mention um, I use a condenser microphone it's my beauty I love him uh, I forgot what I actually named him I think it was Max the mic it was Max the mic um, I forgot the computer's name I think I named it Jonathan or something anyway uh, uh, let's get into the uh, power director mobile bit oh Final thing, I swear. Um, when you're using OBS, um, when you end a video, it puts them in a file type called .flv. Um, and, you know, editors can't use FLV, and neither can YouTube. So to get rid of that, or not get rid of it, don't get rid of it, because if you do, uh, OBS will actually like not be able to process videos correctly. What you want to do is, it's recording, right? <coughs> You want to go to File, and where it says Remux Cor uh, Recordings, and you want to go to the box. This is from an earlier video. Uh, you want to go to a box, click it, and it will ask you to browse your files, and then you just find that video that you just took. Um, it will be a light blue square, and you put that in there. You click Remux, and it will duplicate that, but this time it will be in .mp4. Um, yeah. It should, Remux usually makes it from an FLB, FLV to an MP4. So, let's get to the other part of the video. Hey, Jim Um I am on the phone end now. I just downloaded my, um, I just downloaded the video from my Google Drive. Now, the video I'm going to show you guys is the video that came out yesterday um because i'm actually recording these at the same time but i wanted to show you guys how to edit somehow so what you're wa going to want to do is click new project on power director um i'll show that to you guys uh that is power director it is a great little editing app it's free at first and you know you can actually use it while free um it just has a little power director in, in the corner and then it's just six dollars uh as of the time recording this video i don't know what they plan on doing Ugh. So you just want to go into it, click new project, and then, you know, you can name it whatever you want. But you can name it later as well, so I don't ever actually do it. Um, now, the moment you're in, uh, it'll give you 
options of videos. Now, what you want to do is go to download um, because that's the video that you just downloaded from your Google Drive. Um, if you did it the other way by plugging in a cable and uh, putting it into your phone, um, you're actually going to want to look for a, f a new folder that will probably be some random name like 01. Um, I've done it a few times, but I don't do it very often because it's kind of weird. Um, now, with the way OBS records, um, I don't actually have to worry too much about uh, where to put the face cam and stuff. So, <clears throat> I normally let it go for a few seconds until OBS is off screen, and then I'll cut the OBS bit out by trimming it and then clicking on the smaller clip and deleting it. And then I'll go to the very end. Where my outro is. Hang on. Abisa. After I do my Abisa thing. And then from there, um, uh, people edit in different ways. If you know there's a specific point in your video that you want to be edited out because you like messed up or you did something that, you, I don't know, your audi you don't want your audience to see, you could just go to that and then you could cut it out or whatever. Um... The way I do my little intro thing is I will go to the video and the color board. Now grab a black. Hey, Jim Kane, you're welcome. There. So that was what I normally do. Um,. Now, conversely, oh, my eye is twitching really bad. Ow, what the heck? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm just going to go the rest of the video without my glasses on because that hurt my eye. Oh, wait, I want to see if I could see because that was weird. Okay, all right, we're good now. That was kind of weird, but whatever. So, if you don't want to see, like, if you're looking at this and you see all the ads and you're like, I don't really want to see those ads and I don't want my audience to see those ads, you put, like... Uh, you can go to the double layer looking thing, and that's how you get things that go over your video and you can move around. Go to color board, and you can put this around, and you can just like throw that over top of the area. Whatever. I'll just, whatever. I'll leave it there. Um, but uh, now to do some audio work. Um, if you guys don't know, my outro is starts and like, doo, 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 and it's really cool. Um, I have a specific soundbite I use, and I have a specific point at which I find. It's right here. I'm, I'm so used to doing it that I know where the audio is. Uh, and I straighten that out. And trim it. And I edit all this mess. Make this a fade in and out, and then I make this 15 seconds, so it would be 19 5.4. And there's that. So that's basically like the finished project. Product? Product? Uh, if you're making a video and you want to do more than that, you could just go in and find specific points, or you could watch the whole thing. I've done that before on videos where I forgot certain points. Um, but you don't really have to. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you like this video, like it. If you like this video, my wondrous personality, you should subscribe. If you didn't like this video, dislike it. Comment down below if you think I should do better. But make constructive criticism. Also, check out my Twitter and Instagram in the description below, as well as my Discord if you want to talk to me, uh, see my art, or recommended videos. So, uh, oh, also comment down below if you have any more questions or complaints or whatever about PowerDirector. Um, and I will talk to you about them. Uh, so without further ado, I'm Kane, and I'm signing off. I don't know how to not record on this, so give me a second. Uh, 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 this is new to me. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm signing off.